receive us. Hi, it's Gary with Motrite. Uh, today I thought maybe you'd come along with me. Uh, I've got, I'm in a customer's house. I'm going to fix some irrigation problems he's been having. This is problem number two on our irrigation repairs today. Uh, as you can see, um, the shrubs have grown up taller and the sprinkler head is down here inside the shrub. So our problem is that the head's not high enough to get over the shrubs to spray where it's supposed to. So you have two options there. You can either install a plastic riser that stays on top of the pop-up spray head all the time, but those are kind of fragile. Um, and as things get jostled around during hedge trimming, they have a tendency to get broken off. The plastic risers look just like this. You would just remove the top nozzle and screw it on the top and then replace your nozzle on the top. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. It's not a very sturdy repair. Uh, so we're going to look at doing this a different way. We're going to do something similar to what we did on the other sprinkler head. We're going to raise the whole head. So let's get to that one. So what I'm going to do here is going to be very similar to the other one. Um, maybe I'll say I've taken a spade and I've just staked it back here to kind of keep the bush a little bit out of my way. Um, but all I'm going to do is grab a hold of the sprinkler head, wobble it around. Then we're going to loosen it out. I'm just going to twist this guy out of here. You see this is much longer. Um, but it's set up just the same as the other one. So instead of using one of those lightweight risers, like this, however, we're going to raise it up quite a bit, and these aren't very sturdy. So we're going to use a rigid riser pipe. So we just have an adapter. Goes on like this. This one screws onto there. This one's going to go up in the bottom of here. So this piece uh, it is different in the sense it's called a schedule 40 riser and then we just have a female female coupler and um, the schedule 40 piece is much more rigid uh, so we're just going to try to get this guy back down in the hole so we'll carefully put her in the hole kind of wiggle around to try to feel the thread sometimes it can be difficult Look, like I'm not quite getting it in there. Okay, so sometimes if I have a difficulty getting it in the threads, what I go do is, uh, it gets a little wet doing this, but I go turn the system on, and I try to thread it in there with it running. You can see the water flooding out of that hole, and that helps loosen or bring out any debris that might be keeping you from making good thread contact. Uh, also, what I've done is, just block this sprinkler head off. Uh, I've kind of diverted it so I'm not getting soaking wet even though it's pretty hot today and it feels a little good. Now we're going to try to wind this back in again. Gently go back down in this hole. Well, unfortunately, I'm not having much progress here. Try a couple more minutes. Okay, 
So I'm not having much progress this time on this one. So now we have to do what we always try to avoid is dig. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig and get to the bottom of here and see why it's not connecting. Probably some debris around the bottom of the um, of the threads that aren't allowing it to go. This is the messy part. Now I'm in the mud uh, and I've dug down here and I've reached and felt it and you can kind of see it down in there. Hole always likes to fill with water so normally I try to dig a little extra to let the water seep down past it but what you'll find is that this riser piece just won't quite go on because it's at a little bit of an angle like this from when I pulled it out. Also there's dirt packed around the outside edge of it and it just doesn't let it go far enough on the threads to get started uh, so now that I've got it loosened up I can twist it a bit with my hand and I can get that riser piece on now I did take the tip out of this once again the spray nozzle uh, so it doesn't get clogged up So now I've got it started on there, and I'm just going to twist it on the rest of the way until it's snug. So now I'm going to fill that hole back in, and now I'm going to start it up to flush the dirt out. Now, anytime you do lots more digging like that. Uh, over time, it's going to be soft and allows the head to want to lean. Uh, so you might want to come back and check it in a few weeks to see if it's leaning. It might need to be corrected. It's hard to get it all packed in uh, square and straight and stay that way. So let's go turn it on. We're going to flush everything out. We'll put it together and test it out. Okay, so now we're flushing it out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to turn it back off. Went ahead and washed out the filter and the tip. And we're just going to use our tool, same thing we did before. I'm going to reach down in there and get the top, pull it out, put my filter in. Sorry, I know you can't see that very well, now I'm screwing the tip on. Okay, now this tip is adjustable, so it, you can adjust the spread in the direction. So of course now I'm just going to turn it on, see where it pops up to, and we'll adjust it. I'll close my toolbox in case it sprays the wrong way. Yeah, I know it's a lot of walking back and forth, off and on, off and on with the system, but there's no better way unless you have one of the nicer systems or commercial ones that have a remote. So we've got it up, and now you can see, now you can see when it raises, it gets just above the bushes. Um, now, it's a little bit crooked on the spray pattern, so we're just going to grab a hold of it and just twist it. And you'll hear it click. Maybe a pinch more. And there we go. So that's how you raise the whole head up. Uh, with Schedule 40 riser, uh, and that's pretty sturdy versus just using a little riser that you use underground for a spray head. Uh, hopefully that's helped. Um, keep watching. We got one more repair to do. In this situation, we have to replace the complete head. So subscribe to my channel. Keep watching. I'm going to show you all kinds of tips about other sort of landscape stuff. Thanks for watching.